So Catesby is three kilometres long. It's a dead straight, dead flat, super smooth surface. It's an old railway tunnel actually. But the good thing about it is the temperature remains constant throughout the whole year. There's no side winds, no tailwind and no headwind. So you're in a perfect wind tunnel in terms of stability for, from one run to another and you get very, very good results because of the flatness and smoothness of the uh, circuit. The purpose really is aerodynamic validation. It's actually checking uh, not only the total level of downforce on the car, but it's also checking the aero balance that we have on the car and also the pitch sensitivity. So under braking, cornering and under acceleration, the attitude of the car changes quite significantly. We set ourselves quite tough targets in the concept phase and what we need to achieve. It's easy to achieve ultimate numbers, but there's always a compromise in achieving those numbers between an ultimate number and what is a good aero balance in the car and reduced pitch sensitivity. The sound was incredible. <laughs> XP2 is our vehicle dynamic handling and aerodynamics vehicle and once we've completed all the test work on that, that will then become the durability vehicle at the racetracks.
It was uh, very reminiscent of uh, Formula One cars from the 1980s. It really was an era where engines were absolutely beautiful musical instrument and that's exactly what we've got.